So we're here today with Lieutenant Commander Kevin DeRemus. That's your office right there, right? Yeah, it is. Tell Best us about it. House. This is uh, Miss Piggy, one of two P3 Orions that we uh, purposely fly into some of the worst weather in the country. Uh, but this is a research platform and a reconnaissance platform for uh, chasing storms, and that's what we do uh, during the hurricane season. So you have two planes that you take into into the storms in situ. That's correct. Right? And the P3 is one of those. That's correct. Yeah. So the P3. Uh, we fly anywhere between eight to 12,000 feet. And the cost of hurricane hunters, because our goal is to hunt for the eye of the storm. And so our goal is to find the very, very dead center, zero wind part of the storm. And then Gonzo, our high altitude hurricane hunter, flies well above the storm and around the storm, measuring what we call the steering currents. What does a typical mission look like for you when you're flying a storm? So we fly anywhere between eight and 10 hours. Uh, we carry a lot of fuel, uh, a lot of snacks and coffee. And um, our goal is to work with our uh, partners, the Hurricane Center and the Hurricane Research Division to let everybody know what the storm is doing, where it is, how strong it is, what are some of the trends? Is it getting stronger? Is it getting weaker? Is it moving in a certain direction? Basically providing real-time information to the decision makers so they can provide everybody on the ground with the most up-to-date information. Well, I just want to highlight the importance of the aircraft behind us, the G4, like I said was huge, was integral in the trajectory forecast of Ian. There was a lot of uncertainty and as in where the storm was gonna go. Yeah. And the drop suns and the information and the data we gathered using this aircraft was huge in determining the path of the storm and huge for emergency management and, and the safety of those on the ground. As you're in the aircraft, who else is in there with you? Yeah, so to complete these missions, it takes a whole team. It's not just meteorologists, it's not just pilots. We have technicians, which keep our computers running and help us get the data down to the ground. We have an incredible maintenance crew, which keeps our aircraft uh, safe, right? They're going through pretty intense conditions. So our incredible maintenance team, we have engineers, which help us mount instrumentation onto the aircraft. It's a whole team to get these missions done. Explain a little bit about what's making up the outside of this plane. Yeah, so we have uh, three radar systems on the airplane that help us get almost a three-dimensional picture of the storm when we're in it. We have the nose radar, which is under the black cap right there. That's for us as the pilots to steer ourselves to the safest part of the storm. The black radar, we call that the M&M. &M. That whole thing actually lowers in flight by a few feet. And there's a radar that spins 360 degrees around so we can see all around the aircraft what the storm is doing. And one of the most important pieces of the airplane and the most unique things that we have is on the tail. And it's called the tail Doppler radar. And the Hurricane Center and the Hurricane Research Division is very, very interested in the information from the Doppler radar. Everyone knows the hurricane hunters fly through hurricanes all the time. But what is the training that's involved to be able to do something like this? And what do you guys do when you're not flying into hurricanes? Yeah, so when we're not flying into hurricanes, it involves a lot of training. We do a lot of training both here. We have to do water survival training. We do egress training from the aircraft in case there is any emergency. So we're always prepared for emergencies. And we also do a lot of scientific missions that don't involve hurricanes. So we've flown atmospheric rivers, we've measured gravity with our aircraft, we do winter storms up in Alaska. So there's always scientific missions to be done that aren't hurricanes. Uh, certainly something to see the finished product, as you mentioned, those models that we showcase on graphics, but to see all of the work that goes yeah, into the it effort. there. Incredible what mm -hmm. they're able to do. 